Consumer confidence is at its lowest level since records began because working people have less money to spend. Yeah. But we are not all in this together. Pay for the top 1% of earners is increasing at 20 times the rate than for the bottom 10%. All the while, the Prime Minister eyes up luxury tree houses instead of fixing the broken economy. Does the Chancellor realise that to avoid a cost of living calamity, he must address the stagnant wage crisis created by Tory policies? Mr Speaker, when it comes to wage policy, this is the Government that introduced the national living wage. This is the Government this year increased the national living wage uh, by about £1,000 a year, uh, combined with a cut to the universal credit taper rate and indeed the increase in the national insurance threshold. That is significant support to those on the lowest earnings. Uh, and it is right that we increase people's wages, uh, Mr Speaker. But I would say to the Honourable Lady, uh, uh, maybe she should start in her own office, where I heard perhaps she isn't quite paying her own staff properly. Rachel Reeves. 4.8 million people in Britain are paid less than a real living wage. And that includes cleaners, caterers and security guards employed by the government. They work hard, they pay their taxes in Britain, Chancellor, and they have been taken for granted for far too long. So will the Chancellor guarantee that all those who work for government, whether directly or through a contractor, will be paid a real living wage from now on so that they can afford their bills, put food on the table and support their families? Well, uh, Mr Speaker, we want everyone to be paid the national living wage. Indeed, that is the law in this country, and I'm proud that we have increased it by £1,000 this year, uh, and indeed, combined with our tax cuts, putting more money in the pockets of the lowest pay. But I do say again to the Honourable Lady, there are lots of people being paid less than the national living wage, but it shouldn't be people in her own office. Martin Bickers. 